Males of Reddit what's your creepy girl story? Went out once after being matched online. Didn't work out. She kept calling during dates with other guys and asking them to tell me I was an idiot to pass her up. After no calls for a few months. She called crying and asking me to tell her current BF that we didn't have a six. She put him on the phone and he asked me directly. Of course the answer was no. We didn't but he responded with then why she always hitting you up? I just hung up. She called 37 more times. But I didn't answer. Edit. I'm not even a catch. I didn't get another date for for like a year after. So. Here is a creepy picked up by a girl story. I was in a bar. Having a beer and this girl starts talking to me. She seems okay. But the bar is dark. Hard to tell. She asks me if I want to go out to her truck and smoke a joint. I say yes. When we wander out of the bar. The bright lights outside illuminate her face in a disturbing way. I ignore what I am seeing. She says. So where is your car? I say. I thought we were going to your truck. She says. No. We are going to your car. Okay. I can deal with this. We get to my car. And she says where is the joint? I say. I thought you had a joint. She says. No. Take me home. Okay. I can deal with this. So. I start driving her home. As I am driving. She starts rambling. You can duck me. You can screw me. You can do anything you want to me. Okay. Maybe I can deal with this. As we approach her apartment she says I sure hope my boyfriend isn't home. Oh. Duck. Can I deal with this? She points to a convenience store and says pull in there. And go buy me a 12 pack of beer. I say. I'm not buying you a 12 pack. So. She gets out of the car to buy beer. I definitely cannot deal with this. Slam the car into reverse. And race off into the night. I didn't go back to that bar for a year. Creepy girl. I dated this girl one summer during high school. She seemed nice enough and we kind of hit it off at a church function. Until my summer schedule started. I went from working evening at a local fast food joint to working overnights and I guess she couldn't cope. She would call my house and accuse my mom of lying for me. And demand she tell her where I really was. She'd drive by all night. And would even wait for me to get home at 6 or 7. Still in my work uniform. And accuse me of cheating. Eventually she'd start calling me every hour or so at work. Which as you can imagine my managers just loved. She did not take the breakup well. Threatening to kill herself. She threatened to kill me. And she threatened to kill my dog. When I started dating a co-worker towards the end of the summer she threatened her too. My first GF had a rough home life and when I tried to break up with her she said she would kill herself so I backpedaled. This happened multiple times until one of her friends confided in me that she bragged about it to her because she hates being single and was trying to date other people until he was replaced before breaking up with him. She cheated on me with my friend when we were around 13. When I found out she proceeded to lock herself into a bathroom at her girl scouts meeting and carved my name into her arm with a knife. Teenage me talking to a girl a year below. We used to play Neopets together and one day she sent me a rose with her blood on it. She came to school the next day with a bandage on her wrist. Girl stole my jacket and made a shrine to me with manga style drawings of her and I making out. Years ago I had a roommate whose fiancé registered sign abruptly ended their relationship. The few days after they ended it, she would show up to my work. I worked retail at the time, looking for me. At the time I wasn't sure why she kept trying to talk to me. But I never really liked her and she really ducked my roommate up by ending the relationship with no explanation. I would constantly hide in the stockroom to avoid her. So she began waiting by my car for my shifts to end. I would usually wait it out until someone working would give me the all clear. But after a few days I lost my patience and just decided to walk to my car. She was there. She confessed her love for me. I said no thanks. Got in my car and left. We randomly run into each other around town and always. Always. Always make awkward eye contact before I realize it's her. We were 14 and she cut my initials into her wrist. Psycho classmate from freshman year. She was the first to approach me when she found out I was a journalism student back then and having no friends yet I befriended her. As the semester went on, she got more and more annoying. 
Even going as far as getting another sim card and making up this dude named Jordan just so we can talk about guy things. And I had enough. I decided to call this Jordan in the middle of class and her phone rang. I went all high Jordan on her and she ran out the room. She even invited herself when I went out to the movies with my buds, buying herself a ticket and it. When we said we'd be going drinking on a different city, 45 minute drive away, she said she can't come which was reassuring. When we got to our spot, she wasn't there but still managed to ducking blow my phone up with texts and it saying I miss you I love you you're the best and I was like this has got to stop. The following week at school before she could even say anything I immediately told her you do know I'm gay right? I really am. And she started crying in front of so many people like WTF is wrong with her. Her nuances dwindled little by little towards the end of the semester. I moved from journalism to hospitality the following term and haven't heard from her since. Until like 2016 when she found out I broke up with my then BF. She started telling people how I cheated on my ex with her like. Girl. Swissly. She finally stopped after one of my intensely itchy lady friends talked to her. Haven't heard from her since oh circumflex why with diaresis copyright airing. Dated a pie show who wanted to be with me 24-7. She started doing everything I did. Dip. Smoke. Drink. Soccer. Watch hockey. One day when I meet her at her dorms her wrists were wrapped in bandages. She had third degree burns where she held salt and ice against her wrist. When I tried to end it she said she was pregnant because she was bulimic and would it birth control right out. Then when I finally ended it she showed up at my parents drunk and started to cut her wrist with her car keys in the driveway. I should have known she was crazy. She was way I, I, I more attractive than the girls I normally pull. She broke into my dorm room without me knowing and stood over me while I slept. When I woke up she invited me to a threesome. I nope the duck out of there. Lied about being married and wore a ring on her ring finger as proof of being married as a means of showing interest and trying to provoke me to cuck older man that doesn't exist. She also sent a text to someone else right in front of me where I could easily see and clearly about me. It was about how he can't court a woman in another attempt to provoke me to somehow be interested in her. Never mind the fact that she already made herself out to be a bulleter and someone to avoid. New Year's a few years ago. At like 4am a girl called me asking to pick her up because she didn't like who she was with, as in she felt uncomfortable with them. So obviously I walked down to where she was only a 10 minute walk I was a little tipsy and she was crazy drunk. I was trying to walk her home and she insisted on sitting down. And the nearest place was where I was staying, at a friend's. So we get back and sit on the couch and she immediately starts cuddling me and kissing me and I try and push her off me but she's having none of it. Hastily undoes my belt. At this point she has most her weight on me. Then tries to grab my D and I push we hand away. She then whispers come on you know you want me to and goes for it again. I immediately just shout stop. I say shout but it wasn't really a yell and more just a bit louder. She then proceeds to cry saying I don't find her attractive and gets really emotional saying do I think she's fat etc. I ask if she wants some water. And I go get her some. When I come back she grabbed a razor blade out of her purse and has cut her palm open. And she's shaking. I get a bandage like thing from the kitchen. And she we called a taxi to get her to A and E. I paid for the taxi. And haven't spoken to her since. Needless to say it took me a while to get comfortable being alone with drunk people for a while it shook me up more than I'd like. The tickler. Went over for a get together at a friend's house and this girl someone brought along wouldn't stop tickling me. I ducking hate being tickled. A third occur. I came here to see what guys consider crazy. Can now confirm I'm not crazy. Phew. Valentine's day of my junior year of high school. Two girls asked me out. One was super cute and timid. And I liked her a lot. The other had a boyfriend. After turning the second girl down. She went to her boyfriend and told him to beat me up because I was at fault for making her want to cheat on him. Her boyfriend apologized to me and broke up with her in the same sentence. We both received death threats from that girl for multiple weeks after that. Told my friend he should break up with his GF because she was threatening to kill herself and cheat over extremely petty stuff. He told her what I said. So she told her brothers that I said I was going to abuse her. 
I had 3 of her brothers, all around 24 while I was 16, telling me they were going to kill me and one of them even drove by my house with a gun pointed at me. This really makes me feel better. I always thought I was creepy, but seems I'm just average creepy compared to those. Creepy thing I did. Saw a person asked around till I found out their name. Then found everything related to them online. Found their best friend. Figured out where they study or have groups or sports. Got in one of those groups. Made friends with them. To one day being introduced to the person I was originally interested on. I don't do that anymore. Not me. I luckily dodged most of the crazy girls, but my friend in high school had a doozy of one. She was in the cosmetology program at school, and was honestly decent with hair. He and her had been talking somewhat, nothing too serious, and he offered to let her cut his hair as practice on guys, as she didn't often get practice cutting guys hair. When he went over there a few weeks later to drop off a calculator he had borrowed to take the sat that weekend, she led him upstairs, on her wall. She had nailed pictures of him that she had taken without him knowing at school, as well as pictures she had taken off of his Facebook, and framed a picture she had taken of her and him together, and apparently, so he says, on that wall was a baggie of his hair that she had saved from when she cut his hair, and nailed it to the wall. She'd later go on and basically declare her love for him for years in texts even after high school. He and I kinda fell out, but I think she got over it as she's engaged to someone else now. My ex-wife is definitely the creepiest girl I've ever known. She once told me she stood over her dad while he was sleeping with a knife and fantasized about killing him, literally had the knife at his throat before her younger sister walked and then she said she liked to watch me sleep. She also said after marrying me that I was only supposed to be a practice boyfriend. She said she wanted to draw on my back so I let her and after I fell asleep she got bored just drawing so she pulled a razor blade and tried tracing her drawing. She also put in a few piercings when I was drunk. Despite all the nutty things she did when we were together there's still nothing compared to the hell she's put me through once we split. I'm not a male but I dated a girl once. We met over the internet cause we both liked the same boy. He kinda ducked us both over and we became friends. She had real issues, so did I, and was just unprepared for the world. Serious anxiety. Bipola blah blah blah. She ended up in love with me or summit and I kinda just went with it cause she was scary and I didn't want her to die or anything. It was rough. Lot of the time we spent together was me watching her passed out from clonopin when she had an attack. We had basically had the same itty life. Abuse and trauma but somehow I handled my it a lot better. She ended up like. IDK. Trying to be me. Listening to the music I liked and reading the books. Talking the way I did. Kinda just fetishism of. Me. It was ducking creepy. When I told her I couldn't do it anymore she threatened to kill herself. I asked her please don't do that cause I'll have to call 911 right now. She just stopped talking to me. Went into treatment blah blah blah. We tried talking again a few years later when I'd had a boyfriend for a while. On the ride to Chili's with my boyfriend and friend she says she can't do it anymore. Professes her undying love and I have to take her home. Never again at a tennis meet freshman year of high school and i had just finished playing for the day so i went ahead and took a nap on the grass a girl that i barely knew that was also on our tennis team had her friend stage a picture to where it looked like we were making out on the grass while i was asleep and she uploaded the picture to social media saying i love my new boyfriend so much heart emojis and i got so much it for it she also pretended we were dating after that and would come up to me in the hallway saying how are you boyfriend Freshman year was bad. Not me but my best friend has a bunch of creepy girl stories. One of the weirdest was this one girl in high school. She would join all the clubs he would. Took pictures of his class schedule so she always knew where he was. Constantly followed him around school telling him that she was the president of his fan club. One day during parent teacher night. This man approached him as if he knew him like it's so nice to finally meet you. My daughter has nothing but good things to say. I'm so glad she has found someone she connects with and my friend is like ah who are you then the father shows a picture of my friend like this is you isn't it apparently the creepy girl told her parents that they were dating for a while now. And she showed her dad pictures of him. Thing is. He doesn't have a Facebook or any social media but somehow has pictures of him and his family. 
No one knows to this day where she got those pictures from. Met a girl on Tinder. She seemed pretty normal but she hid the fact she was a mom from me for about 6 weeks. Only confessed when I found out she'd been lying about taking the pill. She needed a baby daddy for her daughter and had to trap anyone by getting knocked up. I've had serious trust issues ever since. All of these make me feel pretty good that I wasn't alone and having a crazy gf at one point. Mine included. Stalking. Convincing people she was pregnant. Having her friends call me then her getting on the phone when I was at someone else's house. Following me to work haircut ctc. Suicide threats. Bought me a pager to keep track of me. Pager was quickly returned. Turned pastor of my church against me through lies. I ended up getting her to finally stop by just yelling at her and leaving her crying in the middle of college campus. People gave me all sorts of dirty looks but I would just look at them and say you have no ducking clue man. This one girl kept hitting me up on AIM, AOL instant messenger for you young pups, my first year of college. I thought cool since I used to be awkward around girls that had the slightest showing of interest and usually scared them away. She was laying it on heavy about how she had some booze and nobody to drink it with. I had school the next day and hadn't really jumped into drinking yet. I was raised pretty conservatively, so I was just like oh that sucks. Hopefully you find someone to share with. Went to school the next day and mentioned her name to a buddy of mine. He tells me oh yeah she's creepy and clingy af and has been with pretty much every guy who falls for it I noped out and blocked her. Only to get a new message request immediately after from a new screen name and it's her again claiming to be a different person. This happened 5 times. Straight up weirdo. Same thing on Facebook and MySpace too. Oh yeah good ol MySpace. I had a month long relationship with someone who was a tad unstable. Every other day during the relationship. She would be incredibly sad. Girl had some intense mood swings. She would be lovey dovey one day and the next loud and argumentative. I probably let it last too long. Looking back on it now. Anyways. I broke it off and the next day she showed up at my job and said to my boss she was my wife and that something happened with our daughter. Well when she walked up to me. She pulled out a knife and tried to stab me. Luckily we have decent security at my job and someone tackled her and restrained her until police showed. She ended up getting charged and now has some jail time. The security guy and I are good friends now. We play cards on the weekends lol. Till the woman that saved our condom from our first time together is not actually the craziest woman on the planet. Thanks guys. And always remember to bring your own rubber. Not a male. Not into women either. A friend from high school and I had been working out together for a while. She had a boyfriend and made up a bunch of stuff about him being abusive and an alcoholic. Not true at all. We stopped hanging out because she had become very possessive. We were just good friends so that was weird to me. I hit my weight loss goal from working out and whatnot, and she had reached out recently. We decided to go out with some other friends one night drinking. She got belligerently drunk and I ended up taking care of her and let her sleep on my couch. She went absolutely nuts. She came on to me and when I told her I wasn't into that she freaked out. Started breaking things and telling me just absolutely absurd things as to why I'm single and why no man would ever love me. I got her calmed down and turned the TV on for her and went to my bed to sleep. It was about 4am when I woke up to her dragging me out of my bed. She held me down and beat the utter it out of me. She broke my nose. I had two black eyes and the surface of my cornea in my right eye was entirely scratched. I had an eye patch and could see for a couple of days. She ran out into the snow within her underwear and a neighbor called the cops after hearing my screams at her to get off of me. I was taken to the hospital in an ambulance. I contacted my lawyer and we decided that pressing charges would just be a waste of time as she does not have any money. She went to the prosecutor's office and completely flipped the script and is now in the process of attempting to sue me for what she did. She needs serious mental help. Girl told me she owned my D all because because I went out on holiday with my family. That was C.O.P.